Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Mamie and this is Mamie's Journey and if this is your first time here, hello and welcome. My channel just brings you guys along with me on all assets of my life but today I am coming to you guys with a mommy review and I'm so excited. This is actually my first official mommy review because I just had my baby girl three weeks ago and I remember when I was looking for all of the things that I need, right? All of the million things that you need as a first time parent parent one of the major things that I was having a hard time figuring out was which breast pump I was going to be purchasing um there are so many that have just like flooded the market recently and the ones that are all the rave are the wearable kind which is absolutely amazing it has helped us moms to be able to move about and move around while pumping um it is still very time consuming. Let me go ahead and just state that first. However, it does help exponentially being able to pump and cook dinner or pump and change baby all at the same time. Um, that being said, there are so many on the market right now and I had the hardest time not only figuring out what brand I wanted to go to, but which of the pumps within that brand I wanted to choose. So I had pretty much decided early on that I wanted to go with the Mom Cozy. Now, before we get into this, I do want to state that this is not a sponsored video. All of the items that I am talking about in this video were either purchased by myself or given to me as a gift from friends or coworkers. Um, actually, this one was given to me by my coworkers, which was so incredibly sweet. And then the other one that I'm going to be talking to you guys about today was purchased by myself. Um, I do have a few different pumps that I am going to be reviewing, but today we are going to be discussing the S12 by Mom Cozy and the M1. Now, these two breast pumps are both wearable. They're both hands-free breast pumps. You put them both inside of your, um, your bra and you're able to move around while pumping. Again, absolutely amazing and I love them both. So let me just start off by saying that I do absolutely love both of them and both of them are actually quite similar in design. That being said, there are a few things that do differ between the two and so I'm going to go ahead and get into the details of both of them starting with the S12. Now I do believe the S12 is actually the older um, model of the Mom Cozy and then they later came out with the M1. However, they do not have like the years um, that each one came out on their website or on Amazon, which is where I purchased mine. I will go ahead and leave a link to both of them down below, but let's just get into this one here, the S12. Now, when I got the S12, this one was actually given to me, like I said, by my coworker. So this was not the one that I originally chose to purchase for myself. However, I am so happy they purchased this one for me. They also purchased the double model. So both of these can be purchased as doubles. So you can have two breast pumps, one for each breast, or as singles, which is just one pump, which you can totally get away with. You can press, I mean, you can pump one and then move it over and pump the other after emptying it out, 100% doable. Now this one came as a set of two, and I also purchased my other one, the M1, as a set of two. Within this one, however, this only came with the plug-in, and I believe these are, um, little straps that came with it. That was all that came in this. Um, literally just both of the pumps and this little guy. Um, whereas with the M1, and I'm sorry guys, I can't find the box anymore for the M1. I don't know what I did with it. Misplaced. They probably tossed it by now, right? It's been three weeks. Um, but with that one, it came with both of the breast pumps. It came with the plugins, just like this one. And then it also came with different flange sizes. So let me show you what the flanges are. These are the little flanges so if you don't know what the flange is that is the part that actually goes around your nipple that helps the fit of the suction and of the pump be able to fit onto your nipple a lot better which is great um this one came with the M m1 came with size 21 22 and 24 i believe and or no 21 24 and 27 
Um, and I absolutely loved that you can adjust the size of it. That is super, super helpful for the M1. Wonderful. It also came with these additional pieces um, and that helps with the suction for this. So I will actually break them apart so that you can see the inside and the pieces that come with it. But just so you know, that is what came with the M1. Now for the S12, um, it did not come with those additional flange sizes. So if you do need a different size after purchasing, you would have to order those flange sizes on their website. But it is very doable. And I was able to pump using the flange size that this one automatically came with, which let me go ahead and check. I'm pretty sure it was a 22. Oh no, it's a 24. So it automatically comes the S12 with a 24 millimeter flange. So keep that in mind when ordering this and note if you know already that you are going to need a larger or a smaller size, go ahead and get the pieces um, that you can put in here to adjust that size or get an entire new flange size. Just pre-order it to be safe. Now, when it comes to these two, okay, let's talk about the design. There are so many different wearable breast pumps right now on the market. There's the LV, there's these mom cozies, there's the Willow, and then there's a, a whole bunch that you can get off of Amazon um, that are from different types of brands, right? But these ones, even within Mom Cozy itself, there are so many different ones. There's the S9, there's the S12, there's the M1. And I was sitting here trying to look on YouTube and trying to find all of these things about what the differences were between them, right? Because I wanted to make sure I was getting the best bang for my buck and the best breast pump. Because I hear that, you know, breast pumping and feeding is going to be really exhausting and well I heard it was going to be exhausting and sure enough guys let me let me tell you it can be very tiring there's a lot that goes into it and so making sure that you get a good pump that is going to effectively pump you and be not leak everywhere or not you know uh waste your time is really really important all right, so let's talk about the motors now. So when it comes to actually just the overall appearance of both of these, the S12 and the M1 for the Mom Cozy um, wearable breast pumps, both of them are very similar in appearance. They are both very round and then they both have the motor at the top. Now the difference clearly between the S12 and the M1 is that the motor is just different in shape, right? The S12 has this top motor with actual buttons at the top, whereas the M1, one is actually like this touch screen device. Now, when it comes to the different options for the suction for both of them, they are very similar. They both offer both massage and suction. However, the S12 only has a suction or a massage option. So let me show you here. You have the buttons. I'm going to do it right side up, right? So you have the buttons here. You have the power, the plus, the minus, and or the massage button. When you turn it on, it automatically goes onto whatever it was you were last on. And it has either a massage, which is the little heart, or if you push that M again, it has this little droplet which shows that you're actually using the suction those are the two options that you have for the s12 now this goes all the way up to a nine for the suction level and this is what it sounds like that is for the s12 with the M1, however, like I said, you do have this flat surface. It's more of like a touch screen option. And you hold down here in order to turn it on. It also does go up to nine different suction levels. However, this one also has an option of being either suction, massage, or massage and suction. Um, now, I personally like to just get straight into it when I am pumping because nine times out of 10, I have other things to do. So I don't really have the time to massage and then suction. And I don't notice too much of a difference when it comes to my collection, when I do the massage and suction versus just the suction. Um, so I go straight into it. 
but I do find it really, really nice that both of them have nine different suction levels. I personally like to start on about a four and then work my way up to a nine because the suction on both of them does get really intense. I would say that both of them are very comparable in their suction. So that's something that does not bother me for either of them. Both of them have about the same suction level. I would also say both of them have about the same comfortability. When it comes to bumping, nothing is 100% comfortable because it's just a very unnatural feeling for these pumps to be going, right? However, both of them do offer relatively comfortable experiences with this silicone flange and neither of the suctions are too extreme to be unbearable. If you do hear that sound in the background, that's baby girl. She might be waking up soon to be fed again. So I might have to, to scoot on out and actually go pump soon. Now, moving on to the next thing. When it comes to charging them, both of them charge in about the same amount of time. It takes typically about an hour and a half from being dead to it both to both of these being fully charged. Along with that, I've noticed both of them hold about three to four full pumps before I actually have to charge again, which is actually pretty great for me. So I haven't had a problem with that. And both of them do also use the same charging outlet. So that is also great. Now, when it comes to the size and how much each of these hold, I don't know if you can see it here, but they actually do have the markings there to measure the millimeters of how much milk you have collected. Um, there we go on the side. The difference between the S12 and the M1 I don't know why they did this, it's probably the design of the motor, but the S12 actually holds more milk. You can probably tell by the fact that this is, there's more clear space on this one than there is on this one, right? This one's kind of like cut in half. Now it's not half the amount that it holds. This one holds 150 milliliters, whereas this one holds a full 180, which I do prefer because I am someone who produces a little bit more milk and so I do prefer that this one holds more. Sometimes I do find myself having to empty my pump and then put it back on and pump again. Both of them pump for 29 minutes and then they turn off. 29 minutes is nine times out of 10, more than enough time to actually get a full pumping session and feel pretty emptied out. Um, but if I get, again, if I ever do need to halfway through, sometimes I do have to empty this one and then put it back on and continue to collect because it does hold less milk, less milk, right? Now, all in all, I will say that I like both of these pretty comparably. The only thing, or actually, let me show you again. The only thing I would say are drastic differences for me between the S12 and the M1 is actually something on the inside that most people probably don't care too much about, but I found to be something that actually drives me nuts if done wrong, and that is the spout. The spout on the S12 versus the M1 is drastically different. I actually far prefer the spout on the S12 over the M1. If you can see there, that tiny little hole, that is where you're supposed to pour milk out of. And you technically do not have to remove the motor in order to pour your milk out of the M1. However, if you do not remove the motor, you might find yourself um, spilling out some of your milk because it can roll onto the motor and then trickle off. Whereas with the S12, it's super easy to pop off the motor just it literally just clicks off like this and then you just pour your milk in so it's very very simple um and i can actually show you guys a demonstration of what that would look like but i actually far do prefer the design of the spout on the s12 over the M1. I do wish and I do hope that in the future when they do go to make more of the M1 or if they update the M1 that they do make the spout 
more circular and do it in a way where we don't have to remove the motor in order to pour it out again maybe even if the moat i mean the spout came out a little bit more so that it wouldn't roll onto the motor if the milk you know does come out i think that would be better um because I, again i just i don't like wasting any milk right like even a few drops i'm like oh my gosh my milk um and so if they could fix that i would be such a happy camper but other than that when it comes to pouring i don't see too much else of a difference um one thing that you do have to watch out with with the m1 that the s12 does not have and you don't have to worry about is this little collection piece now i don't know exactly what this piece is for um but it goes right here into this little divot inside of the m1 and when i go to empty my milk um, I do find that milk collects in here as well. And so after emptying, I do remove this and then also pour out any excess milk that collected in here. This little guy, however, sometimes does get caught on the motor when removing it. So I don't know if you can see there, but it actually connects to that part of the motor. So when I go to remove the motor, in order to collect my milk sometimes it lifts up i don't know if you can see there it slightly lifts and when it lifts and that seal breaks and you go to tip over your your pump to collect your milk some of the milk can actually spill out of here so you need to be really careful with that what i do when i'm taking my pump apart to collect my milk I take it off like this. I make sure I'm holding it right side up. That way, in case this does come undone, I can just push it back down and then I collect my milk. When it comes to the S12, you don't have to really worry about that. There is no additional piece that actually comes off in order to, like, I think that's the equivalent to this little guy right here, but I have never noticed this to pop free um, when collecting my milk because in order to actually get to that piece when you are cleaning it, you actually have to remove the flange entirely and it should be connected to the flange. So that's just something to keep in mind and a slight difference between the two. Um, all in all, I would say that if I did have to choose between the S12 and the M1, even with the annoyance of the M1's little spout and that little piece that I have to make sure that it stays down, I would still go with this one because I would say the sleekness of this does make a huge difference. I love that both of these fit into my bra however this little guy i don't know if it's because it makes it top heavy when i am doing something if i go to bend over this does move slightly and re having to readjust where this goes inside of my bra is kind of annoying at times because if it moves too much you might have to completely readjust and pre replace your breast back into your pump um, in order to make sure that you're getting the proper suction because it would suck to be going 25, 30 minutes of pumping and then realizing that your nipple was not in the center placement and actually not pumping at all, um, which has happened to me. So keep that in mind as well. Um, so the sleekness of this guy, however, does allow for me to be able to like maneuver a lot more without me having to readjust my pump too much. Now, that's how I feel about this one and that's also how I feel about this one but keep that in keep in mind that it also just depends on what kind of bra you're wearing I only like using my pumps while wearing nursing bras I don't know what it is about normal bras um, but I just don't feel like they give me the support or the proper placement of my pumps enough to get get a good suction um that's just my personal preference you guys can go ahead and try them out for yourself like i said comparably they're both very similar and i would highly recommend both when it comes to the sound however this is something i do want to touch on lastly because it's not a huge deal to me but if it is something that you are looking into because you want something that is discreet i will say that you do hear both of these a lot of people advertise their 
wearable breast pumps as something that is super quiet and they're not obnoxiously loud but if you are in public people are going to be like what is that noise because you can totally hear it so let me show you what the m1 sounds like on a full nine And let me show you what the S12 sounds like on a full nine suction. So neither of them are obnoxiously loud. However, you will definitely hear them. And sometimes I'm on the phone with somebody and they're like, what is that noise? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm pumping. <laughs> but just keep that in mind if that is something that you're trying to get a wearable breast pump for. I don't think any of the breast pumps are really completely silent. I've seen some of the reviews. All of them have some sort of noise. But this is the noise comparison for these two. So just keep that in mind. Outside of those things, guys, I don't really think that there's any other drastic difference between the ones that you're going to be choosing i think that both of these were amazing and i'm so happy that i actually have both because when one dies i can actually go to the other which is very nice and i do plan on taking one with me when i return to work and then keeping one at home so lovely 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 devices i'm very very happy that i decided to go with mom cozy because they are also significantly less expensive than some of the other options like the willow and the lv they were both over $400 for the double pumps and I was just baffled. I was in awe by how expensive some of these devices are. Whereas both of these, if you get the doubles, are going to be comparable in price. They were anywhere, I believe I spent about $140 for the M1 for the double set, which is a great price. And the S12 is comparable as well and is right around that price range. Um, And so that's a far less, you know, and far less expensive than the $400 that you would be spending with like the Willow or the LV. However, um, you know, some people might really like the Willow or the LV or be like, you know what, it's completely worth that price difference. I'm not too sure. Haven't tried them out. However, I have tried these and I love them for the price point. So definitely keep that in mind. I hope that this review was very helpful for any of you guys who might be looking into these items. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video overall. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And I do look forward to having some more mom reviews. So stay tuned. If there is anything else that you guys would like me to review, feel free to go ahead and leave a comment down below. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.